light. Oh my god. Oh my god. Human beings. We think we're so smart. You know what has been a constant throughout history for thousands of years? Is that every branch of science uh, throughout history, I mean all of it, including today, we, we all think, like, oh my god, we got it going on, man. We are like advanced. Yeah. And it turns out like a hundred years later, depending on history, uh, they look back at the people that were saying that and they go, oh my god, those people are so stupid. <laughs> And it will be the same thing a hundred years from now. Right now, humanity suffers from this really sick uh, philosophy, and it's been around for thousands of years. And every bit, 100%, through and through, from top to bottom, from asshole to elbow, of quantum mechanics and general relativity is based on this needle thing that uh, a group of uh, Greek uh, morons came up with, and probably before them. It's called atomism. Atomism, in really short, I'm going to say what the hell atomism is. Atomism is the notion that Mother Nature is a, a crazy, crazy cross-eyed hooker with a gigantic bag of all sorts of different magic particles. And, you know, the universe just is just full of particles, and they bump into each other. And, like, fields are particles, you know, muons. <laughs> it's, it's, it's like a, the whole universe is just like a, a gigantic magic landscape of... Um, of billiard balls, all of them atomic, and they're bumping into it, you know, and that is absolute bunk. Now let's talk about light, okay? Um, by the way, the ancient Pythagoreans and the Platonists um, refuted this ages ago, but we suffer from that today. And a atomism is always uh, the love child of materialism. Materialism and atomism is like peanut butter and jelly. It is like... Uh, Hookers and pornography, they go together just hand in glove. And uh, we are living in a hardcore materialistic age. And it would be absolutely impossible for human beings in their current level of stupidity. Oh my god, we're so technologically advanced. Look at this computer here. You know, you know, they didn't have that back thousands. You know, that doesn't mean anything. It doesn't. It means something, but it doesn't mean what you think it means. <laughs> Human beings technologically advanced doesn't mean they're either wise or intelligent. It means that uh, some idiot actually sat around and experimented and found something out, and they that one experiment led to another, and they were able to build things, much, much more complex things, but that doesn't mean we understand the principles of how they work. There's a needle dude called Walter Russell, and I don't agree with a lot of the stuff he said. His followers are absolutely insane. Or they're crazy. I mean, they're just, they're hardcore crazy. Uh, Walter Russell actually said a lot of neat stuff. Walter Russell never defined a field. I mean, I've got all his works digitized. He never defined a field. The one thing that Walter Russell said, and Nikola Tesla said this too, uh, is that uh, the, the notion that light travels is an absurdity. Light does not travel. Like, oh, sure it does. Light has a speed, 286,000 miles a Light is a field perturbation, and the notion of a speed of light is a rate of induction. We know for a fact that light slows down as it passes through glass, like 17%. And it slows down when it passes through water, another medium. The so-called speed of light is a rate of induction. It is certainly not a speed limit anywhere in the universe. It is actually the, uh, if you want to call it a speed limit, we'll call it the speed limit of any transverse uh, field modality and its rate of induction through the medium, i.e. Uh, the ether or inertia. But light has no speed. We know light changes speed. Light does not move. The uh, light bulb is a vacuum sealed uh, device and it does not emit anything. It is vacuum sealed in glass. A light bulb doesn't emit not light. It sets up a field perturbation, kind of like a person in the middle of the lake, you know, waving their arms and the waves actually go outwards towards the shore. Waves lapping on your feet, is that the person touching you? No. A light bulb doesn't emit light, the sun doesn't emit light. It is a field perturbation locus. A locus, you know, a Cartesian point where a field perturbation is set up. Um, by the way, uh, in specific, specific reference to photography, you know, you know your camera sensor is nothing more than a super, super expensive, per square millimeter, it's insanely expensive, solar cell with different photoreceptors for RGB, red, green, and blue. That's right. You know, I can imagine like a, a, a current atomistic moron, and that's what we all are today, uh, at least most people, 
He's like, I took a bunch of pictures today. I got to take my lens off and empty these photons out of my camera. I mean, if you think that there's such thing as a light particle, you are brain dead and you have been uh, brainwashed by general relativity and quantum mechanics. The notion of a light particle, and this is an undeniable fact, not my opinion, feeling, or belief, is nothing other than an arbitrary, totally arbitrary concept set up by Einstein and general relativists. They actually came up with that as the uh, reference for das Lichtwand. Um, I'm going to quote the idiot uh, moron Einstein on a light. We are faced with a new kind of difficulty. We have two contradictory pictures of reality. Separately, they, the particle and wave theory of light, neither of them fully explain the phenomenon of light. But together, they do. And here we have the wave particle duality. Now, here's something else, too. Not only does Mother Nature not deal in particles, she deals in pressures and fields, and everything is fields, and fields are sure the hell, sure the F, sure the F to the F squared, not particles. But Mother Nature definitely contains absolutely no effing dualities. There are no dualities in nature. A duality is a conceptual paradox that something is a duality. Dualities don't exist in nature. They absolutely sure the F don't. Mother Nature, even the very notion that nature contains within itself dualities is nothing other than the ignorant manifestations of stupid, dumbass human beings. I mean, irreducible. The photon is a completely arbitrary concept with no basis in reality. Einstein wrongly concluded that light was a discrete wave packet. He called such a light, such a wave packet, light quanta or das Lichtwand. Quantum, by the way, quantity, let's define the word quantum. Quantum, quantity. Quantity refers to materialism. It is atomism. Quantum literally means quantity, i.e. materialism, i.e. atomism. The very notion of quantum mechanics is not, no different than saying atomistic mechanics. You know, Mother Nature's a crazy hooker on crack with a gigantic bag of magic particles. You know, and everything's just little, these little particles and, you know, no, everything is fields and fields are not particles. Instantaneous action at a distance by its very premise negates the notion of particles. Instantaneous is I-A-A-D. Instantaneous action at a distance. That makes, that makes uh, the particle notion of cosmic mechanics an absurdity. It's absolutely freaking impossible. Uh, anyway, back to the light quanta. Light is a coaxial circuit. It's a trifold circuit. The fundamental so-called mass particle itself being a dielectric uh, condensate. Um, the photon is a completely arbitrary concept. Uh, Einstein and his cohorts wrongly concluded that light was a discrete wave packet, and the das Lichtwand, or light quanta that he refers to, is nothing other than a materialistic supposition, conclusion, belief, and conviction with zero basis in reality. You know, if you think that there are such things as photons, and you're, a, you know, I shouldn't say this. You know, you've just been brainwashed by BS. But I mean, you're. you're most people have no interest in, in, you know, questioning this BS, but I mean, you're a fool if you believe that nonsense. There's absolutely zero evidence for a light particle. The very idea of a light particle is bullshit. Um, the nonsense of a wave packet and the photon is a misunderstanding of the dielectric energy carry proportional to the frequency of the bounding electromagnetism with its internal coaxial radial charge carrying conductor, the dielectric. The electric magnetic components are merely byproducts of the dielectro-electromagnetic geometry incorrectly thought of as electromagnetic in nature. I mean, this, this, this stuff is it's an impossibility. Um, I'm going to quote uh, Nikola Tesla here in a second. Um, you know, what, what, do you do you think that this is uh, you know has uh, any uh, basis in reality? It has none. To even propose light is merely electrical and magnetic waves is as insane as talking about ocean waves with no regard to water. You know, waves of what? 
This is what you need to ask an asshole in general relativity and quantum mechanics. Just ask them this, and it will stoop them. I mean, they will, they'll drool and they'll have a brain fart right on the spot. Just ask them, say, waves of what, moron? A wave is not what something is. A wave is what something does. You know, hey, I'm waving. Look, I see waving here. Yeah, a wave of what? What's a wave of my hand? You know, that sort of simple concept completely escapes these idiot a-holes in quantum mechanics in general. Hey, I see waving going on. You waves of what? That's the question. The real question, if you want to stump the piss out of these morons, and they're atomists is what they are, and an atomist is a moron by definition. A true Platonist knows that if you're an atomist, you're a materialist, and you're a moron. Just ask them uh, what a field is. Uh, there's no branch of current science that has ever defined what a field is in principle. None. You will never find it. I will give any one of you a million dollars right now if you can go find in any book in science the true definition of a field in principle, not as expressions in vectors over a period of time, all Maxwellian field equations are vectors over a period of time measured as effect. I'm talking about a field in principle. Okay, if you understand what the hell that means, then you're pretty smart. But now go try to find a definition of a field in principle. It exists nowhere in any branch of science, in any dictionary, in Wikipedia, anywhere. There is never a definition of a field in principle. In principle. Never and nowhere is a field in principle ever defined. What is waving is rebounding transverse pulse of a field perturbation. What the hell do you think light is? You think that, well, that light bulb's emitting light. That light bulb over there is a vacuum sealed uh, tungsten filament that is completely sealed. Uh, it has been uh, vacuum sucked and a little bit of argon injected into it, depending on what it is. Halogen. Let's talk about a regular light bulb, okay? It is not emitting anything. It is setting up a field perturbation. Kind of like a person in the middle of a lake, you know, flapping their arms and the water waves are going outwards. Um, <laughs> you know, this is how stupid we are as humanity. You know, the ancient Greeks understood this thousands of years ago. Walter Russell understood this, you know, uh, 80 years ago. Nikola Tesla understood this. Let's go on to uh, video number two and explain light in detail, and I'll tell you where the uh, BS of uh, the notion of a photon particle came from. Okay? Thanks. Bye.